Hello everyone, welcome back to another brand new Gcloud YouTube videos. In our previous video, I showed you how to actually build and push a customized Docker image to GCP artifact registry, so which was a manual process. In today's video, we are doing the same thing but in an automated way. So here is the video that I published last week and this video was actually based on manual process. So the idea of today's video is to build it automatically using GCP Cloud Build. And if you didn't watch this video, I would highly recommend to watch this video and come back to this video afterwards so that you understand the whole concept. So let's get started. If you're new to my YouTube channel, please do not forget to show your support. In today's video, we're going to talk briefly about what is GCP Cloud Build. If you're new to the service, it's good to actually get to know what this service actually can do and after that we're gonna show a demo and walk it through in GCP console about the build history so GCP cloud build is a serverless CI CD platform where you do not need to create and manage any servers to run your CI CD pipelines. So traditionally what we have to do, we need to actually create and manage our underlying servers where the pipeline jobs actually run, right? For example, in my previous GitLab videos, I showed you how I actually run my pipeline jobs on my local computer. So in serverless, you do not have to worry about managing any servers. So rather you just run your workload, so in this case, the pipeline jobs and you pay by the minutes basically as a developer or as a devops engineer you do not have to ever care about managing the infrastructure for running your pipeline jobs you only take care of developing and automating your pipelines and let the google cloud build handle the rest for you so without further ado let's get started so in our previous video what we have done we created one repository called test repo in artifact registry and we pushed a docker image right okay let me create a file first of all cloud build dot yml this is what i'm going to call it in here the first step you have to write is steps so these steps are basically the instructions so i'm telling cloud build hey these are the steps for my build so this is what you exactly going to do okay so we're gonna use an id so id is basically you can say a job name kinda docker build and after that we're gonna name it for naming i want to show you something so i'm going to actually use this image this is also in the documentation i just wanted to show you where this information came from this image actually comes with docker okay, i'm gonna use this particular image and after that what we are going to do use this args and this arg is a basically list so first argument is going to take is build so i'm gonna use a tag here uh, so tag is basically with t and in the substitution i'm gonna call repo name and this repo name is going to be the name of this repository so it's basically test dash repo excellent so project id as you can see i have got this is my project id and then test repo which is my repository so i'm going to actually call it this is how you name the variable and after that i'm going to write after i'm going to call dummy app and close it and after that we are going to say so basically where is our source code so source code is going to be in the current directory because that's where our source code is right and this was wrong this is why there was an error okay and let's call this one um push um docker image and we're gonna use the same image because this image comes with docker and we need docker command to run right to build our image and also to push our image so args are going to be so this is a list right i'm going to pass it like this instead of saying build i'm gonna say push because we run the push command right we're gonna say push and push what so we want to push our image to this particular location right and i'm gonna paste this information and now there are a couple of things you can do so you can also say timeout if you want so let's say timeout is like 200 second so this build actually should be finished within this given time period if not then it should time out okay so it should not continue if you do not mention timeout then it's, it's basically indefinite 
there is no time limitation here what we gonna do if you are interested in like uh, making some dependency or order or things like that then you can actually use wait for docker build it means that this particular job actually should be waiting for the job to be finished okay the wait for is also a list and here you can actually add more of that so let's say if you have more than one then you can just uh, list them like so so this is how you can add the dependencies for example in gitlab you're going to use dependency or needs keyword right so this is like similar okay so everything looks good to us so let's uh, give it a test so i'm going to run this zcloud builds submit dash dash config is because i have multiple files that's why i want to run this uh, particular file and this particular file is cloud build.yml so if you need to run it let's say in a particular region you could run this like this here for me i have some quota users therefore i cannot run now in finland so i'm gonna go global if you don't mention anything it's gonna go global so let's get started and see if this works so since it got started the project i have right here actually it has quite a lot of uh, images in there so it takes a little bit time to to build the images so now you can see gs so this is basically google cloud storage that's where the cloud build bucket is created there is one bucket as you can see so I'll come back when the build is done successfully. It failed and it says that docker build command is not correct is because actually I noticed it because this is the T tag flag. So I actually forgot to put the hyphen and let's run this command one more time. This time it should pass build and push job is successful. I will pause this video for now. All right. So it actually run the command successfully which means that as you can see in the console output the docker image is actually pushed and uh, let's look into the gcp artifact registry in gcp we know that if we want to let's say access some services from another services we need to actually give some permissions right right here if you look at here i have given permission to cloud build so otherwise cloud build would not be able to talk to artifact registry so if you have got some permission issues this is what i did not uh, really go through because this was not the purpose of this video just wanted to highlight that you need to take care of the permission issues so you need to do the im policy binding And if you click here, you're going to see dummy image and it just got created just now, right? So if you click here, you're going to see vulnerabilities and other steps we went through in the previous video. So what we are interested right now is to look into the cloud build. So if you go to the cloud build, you would not see anything is because of the region and as I said, I used the global one. I was not using Europe North one. I used the global so this is the global one and here you can see the build history it takes you to Google Cloud storage this bucket is created by Google Cloud build I did not create the bucket and this is where your application code and nothing else if you download this file let's say if you download you will see that your application code is here okay let's go back to the cloud build I wanted to show you something so here if you go to history and you choose the right region you're gonna see basically the build history how much time it has taken so here is the duration of this build right and if you click in here you can approve build and reject build and for this one if you click and come back here it will say for the build you don't need to approve you don't need to approve right cool and you can also create automated trigger and things like that i will be talking about this in the future videos but for now i just wanted to show you how easy it is for you if you have to build and push docker images using cloud build and right here we did not say what kind of machine actually need to be created beforehand to run our workload if you have such requirements actually you could use this if you go to options you're gonna say machine type like this and you have to say which 
there are 15 machine currently supported you just need to get the family class right here you can see you can see these are the options you could actually use if you need to use logs for example or let's say if you want to use uh, disk side gb blah blah you need certain disk space for your build but you can actually do a lot more i'm not going to talk about it in today's video because the whole idea was to automate the build and push of a docker image and uh, using google cloud build and push the artifact to google artifact registry before i actually finish today's video i also want to share this documentation so i talked about id name and blah blah so how do you actually know what options are available for you so these are the data types it actually tells you what types actually you could use and things like that i did not go through all of it is because i plan to make more videos about google cloud build in the future so we'll be going through them maybe most of it if not all of it okay if you like this video give it a thumbs up and uh, see you in the next one thank you everyone bye bye